Ever the voice of reason, Speaker. You're responding to Abnur Tharn's letter, one of the promising adventurers. I hope you can help us. But where are my manners? Welcome to Riverhold and the province of Northern Elsewhere, also known as Anequina. I am the speaker of the main. Another outsider comes to Elsewhere. As if we did not have enough problems between Abner Tarn and the dragons. Ah, do not mind me. Great beasts rampaging through my homeland tends to put me in a foul mood. I am Kamira. I assist the Speaker of the Main and serve as his agent. With both the Usurper Queen and the dragons ravaging north and elsewhere, there is much for me to do. Too much, I fear. But I will persevere. What can I tell you that you cannot guess? That these fearsome creatures of legend have returned to threaten elsewhere? That much is obvious. Damn it. This is all Abner Tharn's fault. Dark Moons, take him! <sighs> that arrogant Imperial! For an advisor to emperors and a renowned battle mage, he demonstrates a disturbing lack of caution. It was Abner Tarn who entered the halls of Colossus and released the dragons. He says that was not his intention, but... What do my beliefs matter? Dragons have come to elsewhere, destroying everything I hold dear. As the moon singers say, the path to oblivion is paved in good intentions. So damn Abner Thorn. Damn him for unleashing this terror upon us. You must be here about my summons. Good, good. I was just telling Lord Goreshri and Chimera that someone would answer my call. Since you're here, I presume you will wholeheartedly agree to help us save elsewhere from a rage of dragons? So much better than flock or herd, don't you think? The Khajiiti Defense Force isn't prepared to deal with a threat as big as dragons, especially since they were fighting to liberate Rimmon when the huge beasts arrived. Stay focused. We'll deal with that later. Right now, we must assist the Defense Force. Rendezvous with us at their command post. On your way, however, I have another task for you. I detected a series of power surges that I want you to investigate. I was formulating a spell to track the dragons when I noticed several surges of arcane energy not far from here. 
They reminded me of an old acquaintance. Has a way with portals. If it is him, I want you to secure his help against the dragons. Hard to say with certainty, but I don't believe so. They remind me of Sir Cadwell, who somehow opens portals with a power of similar intensity. Check the locations I marked on your map before you make your way to the defence camp. Lord Garish Ree is the Speaker of the Main and the Commander of the Northern Elsewhere Defence Force. His aide, Kamira, serves as both a diplomat and a spy, though she would never call herself that. If you want to know more, feel free to ask them. My half-sister, Euraxia, conquered Rimen and other parts of Northern Elsewhere about six years ago. The Khajiiti Defence Force has slowly been taking back their province, but Rimen is well fortified. And now, because of the dragons, things are worse. A militia drawn from the prides of Northern Elsewhere. Garish Ree, the Speaker of the Main, has taken command during this crisis. With Dominion troops busy fighting the Three Banners' War, the Defence Force must deal with the Euraxians and the Dragons. Never heard of Cadwell? Don't tell him that. Cadwell may be the oldest soul shriven in Cold Harbour. For all his eccentricities, he's certainly the most sane. Fancies himself a knight of old. If you find him, secure his help against the Dragons. What do they teach young people these days? You've never heard of the great Abner Thawne, advisor to emperors and battle mage supreme? No? Well, take my word for it. I'm a very important personage. You should feel honored to meet me. Another outsider comes to elsewhere, as if we did not have enough problems between Abner Tarn and the dragons. Ah. Uh. What can I tell you that. <sighs> that arrogant. Your response. A few years ago, do what Abner Tharn asked. Greetings, Walker. Have you a moment to speak?
No, Azazi. Never touch a Daedric monster. Especially a dead one. Don't be such a nervous niche. The dead can't hurt us. But where do you think it came from? Hmm. It stinks of cold harbor. Perhaps one of the Usurper Queen's lackeys summoned it, yes? Hmm. What a stench. That's the stink of cold harbor, Walker. How such a fearsome and dangerous creature ended up dead beneath our favorite rocky outcropping, this one does not wish to speculate. Only an extremely powerful mage could summon such a monster. Don't touch the dead thing, they do not tell me. Like I don't know how to handle a Daedric corpse. I wonder what killed it, though. Maybe it ran afoul of a dragon. I saw you, Traveler. Why do all outsiders insist on acting suspiciously? I watched you go from location to location, just like the man with the pot on his head. Are you one of the soldiers intent on digging up every plot of land? Or are you simply a deviant who enjoys skulking and slinking through the wilderness? Oh, do not play innocent with me, stranger. You must be working with that pale, gaunt fool with the ridiculous mustache. Or else would you be visiting the same places that he did, unless... Are you an agent of the Usurper Queen? Euraxia, the hated Imperial who conquered Rimini and falsely claimed to be its queen. Do not feign ignorance, outsider. I had just about enough of that when I talked to the man with the pot on his head. Ugh, you sound as confused as he was. Kept talking to his pet lizard bird like he expected it to answer. Uh, the last I saw, he headed east. I suppose you'll find him in that direction, and south of Riverhold. Just stop skulking around. Uncanny! It looks just like the lovely place I dreamed of Earth. Must be why my portals led me here. Eventually. Hello! Have you come to pay your respects to this poor fellow, too? It was the strangest thing. I was looking at this very grey stone in a dream. So here I came, and there it is, all solid and everything. Important? I have no idea. I suppose it must be. I saw it in a dream after all. Or was it a vision? I get those two confused. Anyway, I felt a sort of pull and stepped through a door, and then pish posh, honors a bantam, gra, 
and here I am. Than, you say, the grumpy battle mage. How is the old boy? The surges will probably just me. My portal took a few tries before we honed in on this exact location. Now, why don't you take a look at the gravestone and see what you make of it? Hmm? Well, it took a few tries to find the exact spot I saw in my dream. A number of frightfully rude lads and lasses occupied the first location I visited, demanded my surrender, if you can imagine such a thing. Naturally, I gave them the old heave-ho. Foul smelling, I'll have you know, that was my lunch. Can't believe I lost it. And if by bantam bois you mean my faithful steed, Honor, well, he's always getting into my foodstuffs, has the appetite of a mammoth and the cunning of a fox, that one. Dispatch? Why would I do such a terrible thing? I adore those adorable pudge buckets. Alas, Scrooge was standing a little too close when I opened my portal. Poor thing fell in and took a nasty spill. When the neck bone snaps, it makes an awful sound. Were the words the same for you? Sometimes written language likes to confuse me. Words change and switch places, very annoying. Anyway, the gravestone mentions the betrayer. Sounds like a dastardly chap. Wonder if I ever met him. I don't have the slightest idea. The words inscribed upon it conjure up all kinds of questions, though. Who is this betrayer? Whom did he betray? Why did they bury only his head? And where did they put the rest of the poor fellow? I, I, I don't have a clue. Dragons? I have battled a dragon since... You know, I, I, I can't remember, but I'm certain I fought one or two in my day. I was a gallant knight, after all. Of course I'll help. I'll just need to do a little more digging into this dream thing first. Did you hear that, my trusty shovel? Dragons and mysterious graves. It's just like old times. I noticed, didn't we go over this? I'm a chivalrous knight. Oh, oh, you mean the pale and dashing complexion? Well, I'm a soul shriven, a denizen of lovely cold harbor. I'm the oldest of my kind and a sort of role model, at least for those who haven't gone feral. It's called a helmet, I'll have you know, the proper headgear for a daring knight, not at all as pedestrian as the foppery you're adorned with. Ah, uh, sorry, old chap, your attire is perfectly adequate. Suits you to a tittle, really does. Get down. I'll deal with this. Oh, now you show up. Left me to deal with a dragon all by myself. It's a good thing I'm Abner Tharn and not... Well, some lesser mage. I discouraged it. But not before it laid waste to most of the camp. We arrived to find the outpost being overrun by undead. 
Then the dragon attacked. I did what I could. I fear it wasn't enough. What about the power surges? Did you learn anything? The betrayer? Hmm. There's a betrayer mentioned in the legends of Kunzari. It seems those stories continue to harm me. No matter. We can deal with that later. Right now, I want to know about Cadwell. Has he agreed to lend us his support? That doesn't surprise me. Cadwell and Strange go together like hot bread and butter. I need to recover my strength. Driving off that dragon took a lot out of me. Why don't you go help Chimera while I keep watch in case the great beast returns? Kunzari, hero of the Marithic era. Most of the legends are unbelievable, though the Khajiiti moon singers guard the secret history. Their tales led me to the halls of Colossus. But let's save this for a less dangerous time. Tell me about Cadwell. Damn us for arriving too late. I did not expect to find our militia under assault by a horde of undead. And then the dragon. Oh, it tangles the tail of Walker, it truly does. The militia was already depleted from the fight to liberate Riverhold, but we were determined to press on toward Rimen. Between the undead and the dragon, though, we can barely hold this portion of the outpost. Retreat is not an option. Not yet. Our resistance to Euraxia's rule requires more than just soldiers. There are intelligence reports, safe house locations, lists of supporters, documents we cannot afford to lose. Search the ruined camp and locate the documents, Walker. They are vital to our efforts to free Rimmond from Euraxia's rule. And if her forces acquire them, those who help us will be exposed. Recover the documents from male sacks in the camp and get them to Captain Nalado. Then meet us to the south.
If you're so fascinated by the dead, why don't you join them? This one doesn't know you, but at least you aren't a walking corpse. This one must ask, why are you here? Right, moons! This one thought these were lost forever. You saved many lives at great risk to your own, Walker. You have Nalado's respect. This one will guard these documents with her life. That was one of Euroxia, the Usurper Queen's pet necromancer. His undead devastated our troops, so this one took pleasure in ending his existence. Now, Nalado must return to Riverhold to consult with Garashui. We must find a way to go on. Yeraxia's chief necromancer, Zumag Fum, has been with her for some time, but our intelligence suggests his followers have only recently rallied to her side. Find Abnurthrarn and Karmira. Tell them to meet us in Riverhold. I've spotted dragons circling in the distance from time to time, but it doesn't look like the winged monster that attacked the camp will return today. Was your hunt successful? Did you recover the documents that Kamira sought? I must join them there. The Khajiiti forces have been decimated by this attack. It will take every strategy I can devise to help Garesh Ri prevent the collapse of his militia. The appearance of so many undead, though, that concerns me. Yes, I read the reports. Zumog Foom and his necromancers working for my despicable half-sister. Such magic leaves behind a miasma of stench and decay. It leads to the mountains to the west, but I can't pinpoint an exact location. Good idea. Dragons are bad enough, but undead tend to go on without end. Better to deal with them now, before Euraxia's power becomes more than we can contain. In such a direct manner? Yes, as far as we know. It could have been coincidence, but the attack felt designed to hit us when it would do the most damage. I wanted to send Chimera with you to find the source, but I have no idea where she's gone. Find the source of this army of undead, and if you see Chimera, send her back to Riverhold. She's as reckless as she is capable, which is a dangerous combination. I'll make my way back as well. After all, Goresh Ri would be lost without me.
In case you haven't noticed, we two don't always see eye to eye. She can be impetuous and obstinate, truth be told. Chimera gathered a handful of soldiers and took off to the west. If you run into her, send her back to Riverhold. 